welcome back to another video. It is Jatan with all things Jatan. And the girls and I, oh, I got y'all real close. The girls and I are about to head out. We want to go try this spot called Tin Lizzie. It's like a taco type place. Um, real good, reasonable prices. So I hear food really good. It is the weekend. I just finished working, which means that today is officially my vacation. Um, I will be off until right about the new year. So I'm super excited about that. Um, but yeah, so I did a store grocery pickup order because <laughs> it's also, um, the Friday that the kids was, was the kids last day at school. Um, yeah, so I, I got like some catching up with y'all to do pretty much because I just had a conference, uh, with, I'm trying to figure out where to go, y'all. I just had a conference. Oh, that's yellow. I just had a conference at Taylor School and she is doing so good. Y'all know that she missed she missed the cutoff for kindergarten um, because of her age. Her birthday is in October. So she's in pre-K. However, she is doing super well. Like, of course, she had to go with me to the conference. And the teacher was, like, showing me different things. So she wrote down, like, three letters. And she was like, Taylor, what is this? Taylor was like, letters. So she put a name on there, which contained more letters. And she said, Taylor, what is this? She said a word. So then she put, like, a couple words in punctuation. And she said, Taylor, what is this? She said a sentence. When I tell you, like, I already knew like Taylor, I always people that know me and that I've had like personal conversations with I always talk about how like busy she is so when she is very busy and people will always tell me that that's a sign of intelligence so forth and so on and when I tell you she is so bright like the little app that I downloaded on my tablet that had tutoring and stuff like that like she was getting through all the assessments um it would ask her, it would give her like math problems, reading problems, I'm, and I'm going to link it down here, but it would um, give her different things. And y'all, she was like, mom, I'm putting in the right answer, I'm putting in the right answer, but it's saying that I'm wrong. I look at the thing, y'all, she was no longer on subtraction, she was doing division. I said, baby, now she was doing this while I was working. I said, honey, you're going to have to hold off because <laughs> that ain't something I can help you with right now. <laughs> But um, I'm super excited. Then Kaysen came home with the principal's award today. And this is her third time. She's gotten it every single year since we've been here in Georgia. Um, so I'm super excited about that. We also got a letter for Kaysen, um requesting her to test to be in a gifted program. Like I said in the last video, if you have not watched that, um, she's in fifth grade. But a lot of the courses of study areas of study that she has had in school when they do these county assessments she's been scoring at like 11th grade level so all in all I God did that's all I'm gonna say he really blessed me with oh I'm tripping y'all blessed me with some amazing kids so this for this weekend I'm gonna just bring you guys along I'm gonna try to vlog um I have a gym class that I'm taking with Two of the ladies from my Bible study class. So that's going to be interesting and exciting. <laughs> Tell us that hi, y'all. She's starting to get like the little sniffles and stuff like that. So over the weekend, I'm going to make sure that she stays hydrated and everything. And I think that I'm going to go ahead and make the viral lasagna soup recipe again. It was very good, y'all. I'm telling you, that's probably going to be a staple in my household and in my family. Can y'all go try to use the bathroom because it's going to be a little ride? Mommy. Yes. I don't get some water. Where are we going? You can stay here. You don't have to go. Can I bring my bread? You say hi, too? Hi. Oh. I'm going to get something to eat. She's going to come now. <laughs> and... Um, I have to go. Mommy, I'm probably going to go to like a Mommy, Whole Foods. I already answered you. What did you say? I said yes. Oh. Um, I'm going to go to probably Whole Foods because I got to get some cereal because I'm not cooking every day. I can give you all a good one or two meals, but it's not giving. 
all day cooking because I'm on vacation too. So we'll see. We'll see y'all when we get to our destinations. pick up the camera at all last night um we ended up coming home and taylor wasn't feeling well um she was like having a cough and um running like a slight fever at nighttime so after all of that i was exhausted i feel like i'm trying to come down with something too but i'm just leaving all my errands i um went and did a workout class with the uh my sisters uh we had another one um come with us today her uh courtney shout out to courtney janelle was there um so we did the body combat awesome class y'all did not have any pre-workout and when i tell y'all i was punching the air because it was a struggle so i ordered groceries um yesterday for sam's club and i just went and picked that up i uh, could not find any ricotta cheese let me tell you what i did so far so um i did a grocery order yesterday uh for a pickup today because it's not too far from the gym so that only makes sense to go get it there then i went to aldi to try to get the rest of the little things because i don't know about y'all but Christmas break for school started on Friday. Taylor still has two more days of school left. Depending on how she feels will determine whether or not I take her. But it's given two weeks of them eat me out of house and home. So I just wanted to make sure that I had things to like create things. Because we're not eating out all the time. So uh, we had so many appetizers. Well, we had the apples. We went to 10 Lizzie last night. Um, that was our first time going. We love that type of food um so we'll definitely be going back again uh real simple didn't take too long it wasn't overcrowded which i naturally just be expecting restaurants to be super crowded this time of the year people may not feel like cooking they've been out shopping all day but it was a boom 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 so we ordered this uh appetizer called the three amigos and it came with salsa guacamole and queso the queso was <coughs> chef's kiss we couldn't stop eating it but by the time the food came out <laughs> we took like a couple bites and the food had to get packed up to go home so i'm probably getting ready to eat my leftovers now um i'm really in my water air i found this big bottle of water when i was in cbs and i grabbed it because i'm like i do really good when i'm drinking from water bottles and things like that i can really control how much i'm intaking and this is just like another visual so um yeah i'm gonna see how far i get through this i then want to make the lasagna soup again i posted the video i think on here but i'm gonna bring you guys along with that and i'm also going to prep myself i don't know if it's all gonna be in this video but i'm gonna be making something that i'm gonna share with you guys i usually do like a vision board and everything like that but it's gonna be a little bit different so i just wanted to come on and chat with y'all before the things get crazy in the household hopefully my kids did what i said as far as when i get home my kitchen better be clean so let's see y'all uh, as soon as I open the trunk to get the food and stuff out, all the stuff just fell. So, thank God only these eggs broke. Oh no, this too. Okay. Yeah, so these ended up breaking. Frontline, Southside, 
I've been losing friends and finding peace Honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me Look, don't invite me over if you throw another pretty party Looking back, it's hard to tell you where I started I don't know who love me, but I know that it ain't everybody I can never love her, she a busybody Baby, if you want me, can't be turning up with everybody Nah, can't be fucking on this anybody yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it yeah, You know that it's something when I sing about it yeah, Mama used to be on disability But gave me this ability And now she walking with her head high And I'm back straight I don't think you're feeling me I'm out here being everything they said I wouldn't be or couldn't be I don't know what happened to them guys that said they would be I said see you at the top and they misunderstood me I hold no resentment in my heart That's that maturity And we don't keep it on us anymore It's with to share with you something that I've been working on which is my 2024 prayer board if you're wondering what a prayer board is stay tuned a prayer board is a powerful tool that helps me visualize my goals dreams and of course my prayers for the year ahead it's like a personal vision board but with spiritual touch it's a consistent reminder of my aspirations and the things that matter to me the most. Every time I look at it, I'm inspired and motivated to keep pushing towards my goals, which is why I thought it was a great idea to also incorporate my oldest daughters into making one of their own as well. You can customize your prayer board to reflect your unique journey, whether it's adding pictures, quotes, or even symbols that hold personal significance. Make it yours. It's a beautiful expression of your hopes and dreams. Now, let me show you a closer look at my daughter and I's 2024 prayer board. I've included a section for answer prayer. So anything that I pray for that happened, I can put in the envelope. I've also included family scriptures that are close and near and dear to me. I've also included a section for my friends, my career, my future, and for myself so anything that i would like to pray personally for myself i have that added here as well so that's my 2024 prayer board i encourage you to give it a try and create your own it's not just a craft project it's a powerful tool for manifesting positivity and aligning your heart with your goals in 2023 i've already started my healthy girl error so maintaining this process going into 2024 is extremely important to me at all times i'm just trying to keep my body in mind make sure that i follow up with any doctor appointments that i have and just find balance whether it's in my eating or my workout routine if you like this video go ahead and hit the subscribe button and share with your friends until next time keep the faith and keep creating love you guys